So hey guys, welcome to another video and I am fresh faced, no makeup on, which is a rare thing. Um, but I saw a video done by the lovely James Charles a number of weeks ago and I thought I'd try and do my own version of it. So the video he did was makeup using art supplies and I thought being an ex-art student, you know, it'd be right up my street. So I have got various supplies. Um, I went out and brought some new paint brushes. Basically all of mine have been used one time or another and I thought if I'm putting this stuff on my face I want fresh brushes. Um, I have some oil pastels. I thought these would be great for like either base eyeshadow or contour or blush or something like that. And this is the first time I am using this palette so it will also be a little review for you guys on these um, Platinum Collection oil pastels. I've then got some face and body paint. Now this technically isn't an art supply as such, it's more of a makeup supply used to create artistic features. Um, but I thought we could use these in this video. I know James used body paint in his video so I thought I'd do the same in mine. And then I've got my usual foundation and I have an eyeshadow palette to try out um, and use with paint brushes. I don't know how well that's going to go. And then I've also got a little bit of craft glitter just to add some sparkle to the look. So if you want to see how I get on, then let's get on with this video. Um, so I start off with my face makeup, which is what I always do. So for primer, I am taking my e.l.f. Illuminating Face Primer. Um, really just a minute. And I am literally going to apply this the same way I always apply it, which is with my fingers. There is nothing fancy about this. Bit in with my hands and my fingers. Now you probably could apply, but me personally, I don't care. So next, I am going in with my. Natural Collection um, Hydrating and Radiance Foundation. This one is in the shade Porcelain. And I am going to take my first paintbrush. Now this is labelled as a tester brush. Um, so, uh, I'll get it out. So this is labelled as a tester brush. Um, from Wilkinson's or Wilco if you are in the UK and they are 50 pence to pick up um, the bristles do look a little bit harsh so I'm just going to pop a bit of my foundation on the back of my hand da -da -da, like so this foundation I picked up from Boots as well in the UK um, I believe it was something like 2 dollars and I'm just going to take this brush and just apply my foundation. It's going on relatively well. It's patchy for sure, like I am getting the brush strokes for sure. But, and it looks like I'm going to have to use more of my foundation than what I would normally use to just get a little bit of coverage. Um, we'll go with it. Let's just say that. We started, so there's no going back, guys. <laughs> Blend that down a little bit. Or as best as we can. So it seems as though it sticks to this brush, 
Um, that might be because it's not a makeup brush. But we are we are going with it. Right, so foundation. That brush was very, very coarse and definitely felt like a paintbrush rather than a makeup brush. So moving on to contour and I am going into my palette. Oh, when I can get it open. Oh, oh. So in this palette you get all of these colours. So if I oh if I wanted yellow contour I could actually have yellow contour. But we are not going with that and two of them fell out. We are not going with yellow contour. We are going to go with this shade. This is like a deep brown shade and so I up this down if I can get the light to work. We have some sort of contour going on here. Um, I, I definitely wouldn't recommend <laughs> using oil pastels as contour. Um, most definitely wouldn't recommend that. So I'm going to have to keep stopping and melting this a little bit. So I'm having to be quiet just because it's not really doing what I want it to do. Um, but that's that's part of life. Ow! It just dripped on my foot. So we'll just contour those. I will do the other side off camera. Um, this is what this is what we're getting. We're going for a harsh harsh contour look apparently so yeah I'm gonna do the other side off camera and then I'll come back and we can blend it out so I have to get the crayon on my face um, and I'm gonna see which brush in this set that I also got from Wilco um, they are children's name brushes so I'm gonna see which one in this set um, I can use for blending it out. So there's six mini paint brushes um, in a set for one pound. Um, um, which one's kind of fluffy? That's kind of fluffy. We'll go with this blue one, and that's not really making any difference. Oh, maybe it is. Oh, it, it's doing something small. We, we can go with this, kind of. I think, I hope. Anyway. Um, I'm just going to keep blending this out because I put, by the looks of it, I put more crayon on this side than what I did this side, which is something that can be, oh, I'm in love to clearly, um, something that can be enhanced, I guess. There you go. We'll just keep blending that out. I'm not going to blend out much more than that, um, just because I don't want to completely get rid of it, but I, I still want to keep some sort of contour to my face. So, I'm going to move on to blush, and I am going to use another oil pastel. So, we shall go for... 
we shall go for that one because it's turning out that these crayons aren't coming out as dark as what they're looking. So we'll go for this one, uh, a nice bright and vibrant pink. And again, I am going to have to burn it. We'll just pop a little bit on my cheek. Oh, that side didn't want to come out like that side. like so and then again we will try and blend this out I might use my finger around to me oh no no that didn't want to work okay that didn't want to work we shall take the pink off and I'll be back so I am just because that didn't work um so I'm gonna move on to these going to move on to my eyebrows. Now, I'm stuck between two choices. Um, well, three choices actually. Do I melt one of these, and whilst it's still really hot and really wet, do my eyebrows, do I use body paint, or do I use my actual eyebrow kit? So, I'm thinking of using one of these, but using a darker shade. So I'm going to use a darker shade of brown, just because my eyebrows are naturally really, really dark. So I'm going to use this one. And I'm just going to melt it in the lid of the tin. So I've just melted in the lid of the tin. And then I am going to ver ooh, very quickly take the angled brush out of that paintbrush set. I've basically just made my own pomade. Um, taking the angled brush, just going to draw, draw, draw <laughs> my eyebrows on. Um, that's not really working either. So that didn't really work. So we are going to go with option two. And my, <laughs> that is my option two. So I've got a little bit of water down here. Um, these are water activated face paints from Snazzaroo. And I'm just going to dip that angled brush into this water based paint. and start to draw on. These are going to be very big brows. Let's just say that. So I just keep dipping my brush into my water. So I just used my finger to open up the front area of my brow, um, just because it was too blocky for me. But we have one brow, but not too bad. I'm not going to complain about it, it's not far off how I normally do my brows. So I'm certainly not going to complain about it, but it does feel rather thick and rather heavy because I've used the body paint. Oh, these are supposed to be in twins, actually. Right, so brows are done. So my brows are very, very dark for how I normally have them. I normally do like a deep brown shade. Um, definitely not black. Definitely not black. Um, but we will move on to the eyes. I believe I figured out how to zoom in for you guys. I don't know if this is going to work zooming in. 
but we will we will go with it. So, brush wise, what brush do I want? Oh, I am chucking stuff everywhere, guys. So, brush wise, I am going in with the yellow brush from that pack and I'm going in with my On The Rocks palette and I am taking the shade Moscato I want to say Moscato it's just a nice nude shade and I'm using that as my transitional colour and oh my god these brushes tickle something chronic, they absolutely tickle so I'm just popping that just above my crease um, as my transitional colour and I'm feeling very cut creasy today maybe a glitter cut crease maybe um, so then I'm going to go in with the shade Bloody Mary which is like this nice deep brown it's kind of got a little bit of a red undertone shade I'm just going to pop that into my crease and just blend basically I am going to try and use the same brush for this whole eye look um, just because we haven't really got a blending brush in that set and this is quite a nice brush to use I actually quite like this brush, it gives me precise, like it lets me do precise work, um, which is what I'm trying to say. And it's definitely a brush I'm probably going to keep for body paint more than anything. Um, I have started to do a little bit of body paint, so... And I'm going to go back to my old of blending <laughs> with my finger. I'm going to go back in with that first colour, that moustache colour, and just blend that in with Bloody Mary. Just to really get some sort of blending. There you go. Then I am going to go in with um, this next colour called... Massachino Cherry, I want to say it's called that, I want to say it's called that, I'm guessing it's called that, and again just popping that in the crease, deepening that crease up, um, going back to Cherry, to blend, And then going back in of colour to blend. And again using my finger. Like so. So I have my face for a cut crease. Um, and I'm actually going to do my under eye shading now. So taking that last colour. So that Massachino Mar Marasachino cherry colour I'm just popping that on the outer corner and then I'm gonna go in with Caraco it's really nice deep green colour and just sort of mix that in with that cherry colour and then I am gonna with Magnum a normal name a name I could pronounce anyway and then to blend that under eye out I am taking the shades Peanut Colada and Belnini Belnini? Belnini? Oh, I don't know and just popping that under my eye like so so that's all my shadows done for my eye um so cut crease 
I hate cut creases at the best of times, let alone when I am using art supplies to do it. So I'm taking that same brush just because I like this brush and I'm going to clean this brush and use it as a normal brush. And I'm just going to take some of my foundation. This is like the worst cut crease in the world. Right, we have one eye. It's not the best cut crease. It is the worst cut crease. Right. Cut crease is done. I am going to fix it off camera. So I am back. I have just fixed my cut crease a little bit. Uh, just because it went wong. It went very wong. Um, but yeah, I've just fixed it a little bit. So, moving on to glitter. Glitter, glitter, glitter. In here, I have my eyelash glue. I am actually going to use eyelash glue just because it is going on so close to my eyes. But I am going to be using craft glitter. So this is in silver. This is from the works. And it's two for a pound. So... I am going to use this one. So I'm just going to tip a little bit of that glitter into the lid. I'll try, I'll try and show you without getting it any, everywhere. But there's a little bit of glitter in the lid. So I am... Um, what brush am I going to use? What? brush am I going to use? Am I going to use that time? No. I'll use this one. So I'm using the green one. I'm just going to pop eyelash glue on my lid. Like so. Try to keep my eye closed as much as possible. Tap this brush. Oh. Tap the brush into the glitter and just pop that. Like so. So I now have a very sparkly eyelid. I'm going to do the other eye off camera and then I will be back. So I am back, I've got both eyes and I managed not to get any in my eye. What I would disclose to you guys is never ever try to put craft glitter around your eyes, like it is super dangerous but I've had experience, let's say that. So, going on to eyeliner and I'm going back in with my body paint and that angled brush I used for my eyebrows I'm just going to create a winged liner effect this is pretty much what James Charles did on his video but so I'm keeping to my lash line as I can I will be applying falsies today. Shock, I'm wearing gonna be wearing falsies. I never wear falsies guys. As you should already know that. I am not a falsies person. I have naturally long eyelashes. But why not? We've got a glitter cut crease, we're using art supplies. Let's just apply falsies today. So we have some liner. So I am quickly again going to pop off camera and apply some falsies. So the final thing to do, so I am again using a Schnazaroo 
um, make, uh, makeup body paint. This one is in red, and I'm just taking one of these paint brushes from this set and just going to do my lips. like so that's it for this video guys this is the finished look and this is actually something i would wear possibly for like new year so i feel like i succeeded with this challenge anyway hit the thumbs up comment down below post any fill uh, any fill bleh, words words today post any photos of you guys attempting this challenge down below in the comments um also subscribe you know you want to um i will leave all the products i used in the description along with my social media and as of this saturday i am starting a sims 4 series so the first episode is going to be an in-depth look into how i create a sim it might not be how you want to create a sim but anyway that will be this saturday um I will try to get it up for 12 noon. My editing software doesn't like me right now. But anyway, so this is this video done, guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.